Every single time I buy a piece of clothing, I'm always saying to myself, is this too basic? Am I too basic? And most importantly, do I like this item because it's trendy or because I actually think it's cute? The rise of influencer culture, TikTok fashion, and the overall increase in the speed of fashion cycles means it's really, really difficult to feel trendy. And even if you are trendy, you oftentimes feel basic. I want to start by saying that being basic is not a bad thing. You don't need to be like other girls. It's okay to like gold jewelry and Doc Martens and slip dresses and everything that is considered basic and trendy in today's climate. Society has conditioned us to think that being basic or liking something that too many girls like is bad. And this is due to internalized misogyny. And we see this idea that basic things are bad in topics that are completely unrelated to fashion. For example, Taylor Swift is deemed basic. Starbucks is deemed basic. The movie Mean Girls is deemed basic. But are any of these things actually bad? No. So I'm in grade 11 and when I entered high school, it was the first time I could wear really anything I wanted. I just came out of wearing uniforms for literally seven years. So being able to wear whatever I wanted in high school was super exciting. So picture it's 2019, I'm going into grade nine and I started the school year off strong. I remember like a couple days before school, I went to the mall with my mom. I picked up some new jeans. I bought some brand new tops and I was like, every day I'm gonna have these immaculate fits. Fast forward three weeks, that, that didn't happen. I went to school wearing a lot of sweats, a lot of brandy Melville, and nothing that I felt super myself in. I mean, it was comfortable, it was cute for the time being, but it wasn't like, I wasn't like, this is me, this is my passion. Then lockdown hit and another lockdown. I really had nowhere to go and I started thrifting more and picking up more pieces than I felt were myself, I guess. Going into grade 11 and grade 10, school was literally online the whole year, so there was no point of like dressing up. But now this school year, school has been in person every single day. And I think I found a more sense of like my style, quote unquote, and thrifting helped a lot with that because I was bringing home pieces I was excited to wear. Here are some tips on how I improved my style and really just found my personal style over the past two years. Another thing you want to consider is the fashion industry as a whole and companies. Every time you look into your closet and you're like, I hate this piece, I feel like I don't have any clothes, I feel like me, I feel so basic. They're making money off of your insecurities because you're going to go to the mall and buy more clothes and the cycle just continues. My first tip would be to find inspiration of what type of clothing and what type of style you like online and in person. So I love watching Lady Ozark. She's like such a good personality. She's a YouTuber. She gives really good fashion advice that's super attainable and achievable for like the everyday person. I also love watching Nina Florence. Like I love her content and also her style really resonates with me. It's super achievable. I also really like making Pinterest boards and more than that in person when I'm at school, I love like walking around and seeing what other people are wearing, people that are my age, people that I see in real life. And this is super random, but when looking to inspiration, I work at a dental office, for example, and I love seeing what all the grandpas are wearing. And when they come into the office, I'm like, if I saw that whole fit, if I saw that grandpa sweater and those trousers at their store, would I pick them up? And that's just a super great way to think about fashion, not in terms of do I like this because it's trendy, because it's in a catalog, because it's arranged nicely in Aritzia, or do I like it on another person? And do I think it's actually cute and something I could wear in real life? My next tip would be to stop trying to be trendy. Do not keep up with the latest trends. And I know this sounds super counterintuitive because you're like, Brianna, I am trying to get a sense of fashion. I'm trying to get a sense of style. And you're telling me to just ignore all trends. But what I mean by that is stop looking at clothes in the sense of this is so trendy. I saw it on TikTok and start thinking if these clothes are practical for you to wear in your everyday life. Just because something looks super cute on an Instagram model or in a photo doesn't mean you can wear it to school or work and feel confident in it. Plus, with TikTok and the fashion cycle, like I mentioned before, trends are moving so fast. Meaning, even if you feel trendy in two weeks, you're not gonna feel trendy anymore. And then you're gonna have these clothes you don't even like and a sense of resentment, and you're mostly gonna shop fast fashion from like Shein or something. It's just not a good cycle as a whole. Really just save your money, save yourself the impulse shopping, and don't try to be trendy. The next tip is to avoid the mall in traditional clothing stores. Aside from my adventure to slowly try and give up fast fashion between April and now, I really stopped shopping at the mall. The mall is not fun. Shopping at the mall is stressful. When you walk into stores like H&M, Zara, Aritzia, the clothes are arranged so nicely. The store has vibing music. The mannequins look gorgeous. The people working there look gorgeous. And you really don't get a chance to think about if you actually like the piece or you like that the piece is selling you. The piece is selling you an idea of the person you can become. But is that piece actually gonna make you fashionable? 
we don't know. Once I started thrifting, shopping on Depop, even like borrowing my mom's clothes, I realized, oh, I like these things because they look good on me because they make me feel confident, not because they look good on the girl working at Aritzia. Thrifting is also such a big process. I mean, when I go thrifting, I make a whole day out of it. So I'm in the store for like two hours. So because you look through the clothes so many times and you sometimes find things that are better than the original thing you found at the thrift store, you have a chance to weed out the things you don't really like. You also get exposed to so many different styles. Where in Aritzia are you gonna find like a super cute grandpa sweater or unique jewelry? That's a big thing that thrifting has provided for me is this exposure to so many different types of clothes. And a big bonus is by avoiding the mall, you're going to save money and it's overall just better for the environment. And my next tip is, is it me or the clothes? A lot of times you put on an outfit in the morning and you're like, I hate this. But you actually hate it because your hair is greasy. You feel not cute. Your skin is breaking out. You don't have any jewelry on. There are so many factors that play into someone looking stylish or looking fashionable that are more than the physical clothes. For example, I'm literally standing here talking to you in the most basic outfit ever in literally a tank top. But I have my hair done. I wash my hair today. You know, the curls are defined. We love. I have jewelry on. I have makeup on. And I feel super, super cute. Even though I'm in such a simple, quote unquote, basic basic outfit. When you see a picture on Instagram and that person looks great, like you have to think to yourself, does that green top look great on her because she has green eyes? Are those jeans from Abercrombie really great because they'd be great for me or because they suit her body shape perfectly? There are so many factors. I can't tell you how many times I show up to school in a super simple outfit like this in sweats and a hoodie, but I have like cute jewelry on, my makeup on, I put on my perfume that morning, I have like five million rings, and I feel super cute and fashionable, but it's not about the clothes. It's the personality I have while wearing the clothes, overall like confidence boost I've given myself before going to school, and the way I've styled those clothes. And completing the look means doing your hair, wearing the jewelry, wearing cute sneakers or shoes. If it's winter, you're wearing a cute coat, you're really just adding things to elevate your outfit. Also, re-examining the pieces you already own and love is super important. Do I like this sweater because it's super comfy and worn in? Why do I love this specific pair of leggings? It's gonna give you a better sense of what you like to wear. The next step is purpose. In the world of fashion and consumerism and trying to be trendy, we forget that clothes have a purpose. We buy clothes because we need to wear them. They need to be functional in our daily life. If you have a super cute dress, and I'm probably guilty of this, but you can't wear it because it's too fancy or it's too cold in where you live, what is the point of having it? Your clothes are supposed to have a function. You're supposed to be able to get as much use out of them as possible. If you're not getting use out of specific items, maybe they shouldn't be a part of your personal style. Again, back to the wearing sweatpants and loungewear at school, I know that those elements of clothing are a key part in my personal style because I live in Canada. I go to school all day. I also walk home from school, so I need to be comfortable, and these clothes serve that function of being functional for school. So before buying any new clothes, think about where you live, what your lifestyle is like. I mean, if I worked in a job where I need to dress up fancy all day, maybe I wouldn't be wearing sweatpants, but think about what works for your specific lifestyle and shop accordingly to that. My last tip is to be patient and give yourself time to grow. You don't need a new wardrobe tomorrow. When we're going into a new season, when we're starting a new school year, we feel like we need new clothes right now this second but that is not the case you can give yourself the time to slowly build up a wardrobe of course, you're still going to have times where you buy clothes and realize they're not part of your personal style. You don't wear them. You don't get enough use out of them. I have thrifted things so many times I thought I was going to love and then they just don't work out. And that's okay. You need to have patience with yourself. This is a learning process. As long as you're making the conscious effort to impulse buy less and putting in thought before you're buying things, you're already on the right track. Clothes are supposed to make you feel like yourself. You're supposed to be a better, elevated, happier, more confident version of yourself when you wear pieces that you love. I used to get so down on myself for wearing sweats to school every day I was like why aren't you doing better why aren't you trying more with your fashion like you could do so much better and what I realized is I like wearing sweats and there's nothing wrong with that as long as I wear them and I feel confident they can totally be a part of my personal style so I love finding ways to sell sweatpants in super cute ways. This is super basic. I just have these flare ones that I thrifted and a basic black hoodie. But I also have velvet pants. I have like roots, sweatpants. There's just so many combinations. And if you dress it up with jewelry, makeup, do your hair, you'll just feel super cute. I have nothing else to say. I love wearing sweatpants and we need to stop associating wearing sweatpants with being lazy. Because you can wear sweatpants and literally take on the whole thing. Another little outfit combination, outfit formula that I love is trousers. 
I recently thrifted two pairs of trousers. They're my favorite things ever. They're like sweats, but they're not as uncomfortable as jeans, but you feel so grown up and dressed up in them. And I don't know if it's the future, like business, stupid kid in me that loves them, but these are great. I love them. This is a way I would style them. This sweater is my dad's. I love it so much. The dark academia energy totally is. These are like Zara men's black trousers, cargo pants. I don't know what anyone calls them anymore pants that I thrifted. But with a little shoulder bag, I could totally go to dinner in this. But if I pair it with my backpack, it's not too fancy for school. I also have this like tannish. These are definitely more like cargo pants style with all the zippers down the bottom. But this is another pair that I love. The next little outfit formula is a little mini skirt and a top. So this little green, army green mini skirt is my mom's. I think it's so cute and I'm so happy she let me wear it. Obviously, this is way too fancy for school. It's more of a weekend outfit. But pairing a cute little skirt like this, it works for my body type. I'm not drowning in it. Wearing a really nice skirt that fits your body well, that flatters your body shape with really any type of top. But here I'm just pairing it with this oversized t-shirt that I thrifted. Works well. I've worn this skirt with a sweater before. I've worn it with a black bodysuit with a little white baby tee. Anything works depending on where you're going. And I feel so cute in this and feminine and girly. And I just, I love the vibes it gives me. Another thing I love are dresses. Sadly, I don't feel like I wear dresses as much as I wish I did because of school and again wanting to be comfortable most of the time. This purple one is my mom's. I think it's so cute and it fits me really great. It's really comfortable. I just love how it makes me feel. Purple is my favorite color. It makes me feel so confident. In the summer, I have an Aritzia little black dress I like to wear a lot and this is something great for the colder months. Next one is flare pants. Surprise, surprise. These are also my mom's. Mom, I love you. Thank you for letting me take all your clothes. Flare pants, when everyone got on the flare pants bad wa bad bang bad bandwagon, bandwagon, when everyone got on the flare pants bandwagon a year ago, I just never got off of it. They're great, they're super comfortable. I wear them to school all the time. They're so versatile because they're black. I mean, I could get them in other colors. They make you look snatched, you feel super confident in them. And these are ones from Lululemon originally, so I could even work out in them. You can dress them up or down. So like this is an example of how I would wear them to school with like a basic crew neck, but I could also wear them with a nicer top. No bad things to say. And they also give me the biggest Lululemon mom energy, which we can never come with. I think it's important to remember that clothes are an extension of yourself and your personality and how the world sees you. And every single person is going to have their own unique style based on their genetics, how they naturally look, where they spend their time, where they work or go to school and the logistics of where they live based on weather. So thank you so much for watching and I hope this helps you on your personal style journey. I'm Rihanna, I don't think I said that yet and you can subscribe down below for more content.